Video provided by Paper Industry International Hall of Fame, www.paperhall.org, which supports educational programs at the Paper Discovery Center, Appleton, Wisconsin, www.paperdiscoverycenter.org. Chester Floyd Carlson was born in Seattle, Washington on February 8, 1906. He received his bachelor's degree in physics from the California Institute of Technology in 1930. Carlson earned his law degree from New York Law School in 1939. Chester Carlson grew up in dire poverty. By the age of 14, Carlson was working after school and on weekends to help support his family. When he was still in high school, his mother died of tuberculosis and Chester resigned himself to a life of poverty. Graduating in the midst of the Great Depression, he went to New York hoping to find work. He got a job with Bell Telephone Laboratories as a research engineer, later becoming the assistant to the patent attorney. He wrote over 400 ideas for inventions in his personal notebooks while working at Bell. Carlson worked for P.R. Mallory & Company from 1933 to 1946 as a patent officer. Often assigned the tedious task of copying technical information, he thought there could be a better way, more efficient way, to make copies. From these tedious exercises grew the idea that an image could be transferred to paper via an electrically charged powder or toner. The invention of the plain paper photocopier has been called the most significant development for the graphic arts since Gutenberg's contributions for printing. Like Gutenberg, Carlson was the single inventor for this technological revolution. On October 22, 1938, Carlson scribbled the date and the word Astoria, the location of his makeshift lab, on a microscope slide, and with a blast of light and a dusting of chemicals, produced a legible copy. He teamed with Battelle Research Institute starting in 1945 to develop a commercialized process, and in 1947, formed a licensing agreement with the Haloid Corporation, which later became known as the Xerox Corporation. Haloid, with Carlson as a consultant, developed several early xerography machines, which never really caught on. The breakthrough was the Xerox 914, the first convenient plain paper copier released in 1959. Forbes magazine named the Xerox 914 copier the most successful product ever marketed in America. In 1955, five years before the 914's introduction, the world made 20 million copies. In 1965, five years after the 914 was launched, nine and a half billion copies were made. It is estimated that two trillion zero graphic copies were made in 2004. Plain paper copying has had an enormous impact on the demand for paper. Zero graphic copying also was a driver for improvements in paper quality and uniformity for the copy machines to operate satisfactorily. Copy paper had to be consistently just right. Chester Carlson died on September 19, 1968. Yu Thunt, Secretary General for the United Nations, paid the following tribute to Carlson at Xerox's memorial service. To know Chester Carlson was to like him and to respect him. He was generally known as the inventor of xerography, and although it was an extraordinary achievement in the technological and scientific field, I respected him more as a man of exceptional moral stature and as a humanist. His concern for the future of the human situation was genuine, and his dedication to the principles of the United Nations was profound. He belonged to that rare breed of leaders who generate in our heart faith in man and hope for the future.